Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Four Primary Moon Phases. Ecclesiasticus. 43 and 5, great is the Lord that made it, referring to the Son, and at his commandment runneth hastily. Verse 6, he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. Verse 7, from the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. 8, the month is called after her name. Let's get this. According to the Etiman, when we define month, it goes to the origin of sea moon. All right. Increasing wonderfully in our changing, being an instrument of the armies above. Hence the stars shining in the firmaments of heaven. Verse 9, the beauty of heaven, the glory of the stars and ornaments giving light in the highest places of the Lord. Verse 10, at the commandments of the Holy One, they will stand in their order and never faint in their watches. Okay. My second source, Astrophysics University, Iowa, dot education. All right. Now, according to this documentation, you have four primary moon phases. The new moon, the first quarter, the full moon, the third quarter, or the last quarter. Now, a new moon brings in a new month. All right. So... The new moon is the first primary moon phase, phase, and the first quarter is the second primary moon phase, and the full moon is the third primary moon phase, and the last quarter is the fourth primary moon phase. Ecclesiasticus 43 and 8. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing. All right, keep this in mind. Increasing wonderfully in her changing. As the new moon becomes a full moon, it increases in light. Okay, as the new moon becomes a full moon, it increases in light. So you have the new moon, and as it becomes a first quarter moon, it waxes in light. And as the first quarter moon becomes a full moon, it waxes in light until it reaches its highest capacity in light which is what? A full moon. Okay? Going back into what? Ecclesiasticus 43 and 8, increasing wonderfully in her changing. All right? Another point. From the moon, verse 7, from the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreaseth, in her perfection. So once it becomes a full moon, what happens? It begins to decrease in light until it reaches the new moon stage. Okay? So once it becomes 
a full moon, it begin it begins to decrease in light. It starts waning in light. Okay, you have the waning gibbous, then the last quarter, the waning crescent, and then once it becomes a new moon, there's no light. From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. Okay. Let's get. Genesis 1 and 16. And the Elohim made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day, hence the sun. And the lesser light to rule the night. Hence the moon. He made he made the stars also. You can say they made the stars also, but the Alahayim, okay, was following the instructions of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. All right. And Yahweh gave this commandment to Yahweh Shah and the elected angels. Okay. To fulfill his will. Another point. Verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times. All right. And a sign of the world. One declaration of time. And signs of the world. It's Matthew the 24th chapter. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. That he is referring to Yahusha. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. Hence, solar eclipse, which means what? The darkening of the sun and the moon shall not give her light. Hence, a lunar eclipse, which means a darkening of the moon. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Okay. And you have other signs such as blood moons and things of that nature. Okay. So this alone entails that Yahweh Shah is on his way regarding his second coming to bring the judgment of the Most High and a token of his coming is signs within the moon okay from the moon is the sign of feast a light that decreaseth in her perfection okay and also the moon entails what Sabbath days. Isaiah sixty six and twenty three. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another 
And from one Sabbath to another, meaning what? A new moon brings in a new month, which brings in a new Sabbath. Okay? Shall all the flesh come to worship? So like, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Another point, Amos 8 and 5, saying, when will the new moon be gone? that we may sell corn and the Sabbath. So this tells you that a new moon brings in a Sabbath. Okay, a new Sabbath. Okay, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great and falsifying the balances by deceit. Okay. Look up. Amos 8 and 5. Okay. Ecclesiastes 43 and 6, he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times. Hence the Sabbath is will and a sign of the world. All right. So when a new moon comes in, it brings in a new Sabbath. And then the first quarter will be your second Sabbath. The full moon will be your third Sabbath. And the last quarter will be your fourth Sabbath. Okay? The four primary moon phases are new moon, first quarter, full moon, third quarter, or last quarter. Lord will, you are edified, shall one.